What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, once again, undefeated, three-division, five-time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged and recognized as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing, in Javante Tank Davis, who is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 25, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, 5'5 five five with a 67-inch army. Javante Tank Davis is in the headlines again. Why is Javante Tank Davis continuously in the headlines? Many people ask. Why is Javante Tank Davis the subject of many people's topics? Well, because of just like I just introduced Javante Tank Davis as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing. So everything surrounding him, speculation or truth or false, is going to be viewed with a magnifying glass. With that said, everybody of late have taken what Rick Glazer has stated involving Javante Tank Davis, biggest rival, his biggest nemesis, and that's undefeated, un former two-division world champion, former undisputed lightweight world champion, now the reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney. Devin Haney is 31 wins, no loss and no draw. He is 15 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 for 9 with a 72-inch armage. With that said, Devin Haney recently had the biggest, most impressive, most lucrative fight of his career. December 9th, San Francisco, California at the Chase Center when he took on two-time WBC Julian Welterweight World Champion Superstar Boxer Regis Ruguru Progre. David Haney removed a lot of labels that have been placed on him for so long that many people don't know how to deal with it. With that said, nonetheless, it was reported that Devin Haney did only 50,000 pay-per-view buys. It was reported by the same Rick Glazier. And it was also reported by one Lenny Ellaby, CEO of Mayweather Promotions. And because of Devin Haney's massive amount of disdain from fan bases, it started to become truth, what Rick Glazier stated. It only did 50,000 pay-per-view buys. Now everybody stands on what Rick Glazier says is gold. And many people reported and talked about it. But now Rick Glazier is reporting something else. Some more news that many people are not talking about because it don't fall in line in favor of the narrative that people want to put out there and a certain perspective, right? So Rick Glazier is now reporting that Javante Tank Davis and... Premier Boxing Champion Founding Advisor Al Heyman are at odds, which is not very surprising because Tank Davis put up some cryptic messages. But this is what Rick Glazier is reporting. Quote, being told by a very reliable source that Javante Tank Davis doesn't want to get back in the ring for what's being offered by Al Heyman after making that big windfall versus Ryan Garcia. Sounds like another fighter that bases their value off of one fight. But that one fight was a total anomaly. Has, that's hashtag boxing in this era. End quote. <clears throat> so now we know Al Heyman, Premier Boxing Champions, the brand, the stable of fighters, had to find a new home. Because Showtime has decided to get out the business of the sport of boxing after 37 years, which means the relationship, partnership, and understanding that PBC had with Showtime is no longer as a network. So they had to find a new network into which for Al Heyman to showcase his stable and talent of fighters and his brand, which they landed on Amazon, Amazon Prime, okay? Uh, Amazon Prime is starting to stream more and more sports, NFL, NBA, uh, and they did some you know, touched on a little bit of boxing. So now Al Heyman has decided to go over to Amazon Prime. And Javante Tank Davis in his last fight did 
1.2 million pay-per-view buys, and that's with King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, former lightweight, now junior welterweight, Mexican-American superstar title contender, King Ryan, Ryan Garcia, was now 24 wins, one loss, no draws, 20 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, 5 foot 10 with a 70 inch arm reach. And it did a reported gate of 23 million at the gate, the fifth highest gate in Las Vegas history. And it saw both fighters take over, take home, according to reports, $30 million a piece. And so that's what Rick Glacier is, um, Glacier is referring to when Rick Glacier says that um, Javante Tank Davis had one big fight and now he's overvaluing himself. Now, you guys know, if you watch me, that I've been saying forever and a day and I'll continue to bang this drum. I'm not in position, nor is anybody else, if you're not the specific fighter, to tell a fighter what his value is. Period. Okay? Uh, and so with that said, if Geronte Tank Davis feel like his value is more than what they're offering, then who are we to tell him what he should stand on and what he should and should not take? Because Al Heyman, nor Rick Glazer, nor myself, nor the fans, nor Amazon's handlers are getting in the ring and risking their life. Only one doing that is Javante Tank Davis and the opponent that he will be facing standing in the corner on the other side of the ring. And so how how can we possibly put a number on life? The most precious thing we have is life, is the breath, that the air that you have in your lungs. Without that, you have nothing. And so, again, the most precious thing you have outside of that is time. Because time waits for nobody, right? And so, how do you tell Javante Tank Davis what his value is, what his time is? Now, again, I discussed the reported $20 million offered to Javante Tank Davis for a fight with Devin Haney. And I discussed that Javante Tank Davis should do his, his homework and his due diligence to assure that that number is, if it's real, inquire about it. And if it is real, can Al Heyman and the PBC match that number that's coming from Matchroom CEO, promoter Eddie Hearn, and Eddie Hearn's relationship with Saudi Arabia's? That they get ready to put on a massive fight fight card this upcoming Saturday for a fight in Saudi Arabia against Devin Haney. $20 million was reported a guaranteed upfront purse. His biggest guaranteed purse was some reports say $5 million for the Ryan Garcia, some say $10 million. But it's no more than $10 million. This is double that. And if they're not going to match it going into a fight, then he stands to lose because he's a draw. He puts butts in the seats regardless of what network, what platform that Javante Tank Davis fights on. So the split on the back end and the pay-per-view and the gate, he's going to do that regardless if he fights on Amazon, if he fights on ESPN, if he fights on DAZN, or if he, he fights on Mars. He's going to get that money, that percentage. The pay-per-view, the gate, he's going to get that, recoup that. But the guaranteed purse up front, is he going to recoup that? Because if they're only offering 10 million or 12 million, well, that's 8 million and 10 million short of what he's being offered to fight Devin Haney. So he's losing. So Javante Tank Davis recently put up a post about Al Heyman and he stated that Al Heyman was supposed to call him back. He didn't call him back and he's probably in a secret meeting with Steven uh, about a fight and a plan that he wasn't privy to. And then he stated, don't be surprised to see me somewhere else. And now we're getting this report that he's not happy with the money he's being offered. Yet when he was offered to have a conversation with Eddie Hearn about a fight with Devin Haney, he immediately declined. This is why I told you guys, he should inquire about that, whether it's real or not. And then uh, Al Heyman is your advisor. You take that to Al Heyman. This is the business and this is your life. Nobody's going to care for you like you. Self-preservation is the number one rule in life. Nobody can live for you 
Nobody's going to care for you and love you like you love you. So you're supposed to do your homework, not to say you can't trust Al Heyman or can't trust your managers and team around you. But nobody's going to assure your, your well-being like you. You have to dot every I and cross every T. You can't rely on everybody. So you're supposed to do your homework, your due diligence to see how true this is. And if so, if you're not going to take it, then what are they going to do to at least match that? Because if they're not going to match it, then they should be advising you to go get that money. Plain and simple, right? Uh, and you're still going to be the A side, regardless of what, again, like I stated, Javante Tank Davis is going to be the A side, regardless of where he goes. So the back end money, the pay per view money, is not going to affect him one way or another. It'll affect the people around him. If he was to leave the PBC, it would affect them. It's not going to affect him because he's going to garner the same money. If he went to the zone, if he went to ESPN again, if he did it independently. So now this, this is coming out by Rick Glazier that he's not happy with the offer that he's being uh, offered <clears throat> for his next fight. And he's supposed to headline and open and uh, introduce the partnership and relationship. The first pay-per-view headline major card for PBC and, and Amazon. Right? So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. It said that he's supposed to return to the ring in March. Let's see how this unfolds and plays out. What is the budget for Amazon with the PBC? That plays a major part. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. So all I got for y'all, I'm gone. Peace.